Congrats to the captain, Michael Bradley and Victor Vasquez. They're part of the MLS team of the week. Vasquez, of course, with the goal and the assist in the 4-0 win over Los Angeles. Michael Bradley continued his stellar play, leading from the midfield. And the Greg father, Greg Vanny, he gets the manager of the week nod. This is a TFC HQ presented by Kia. And I am Gareth Wheeler and Toronto FC return home from a demolition job, a 4-0 win over the Los, Ga Los Angeles Galaxy on Saturday night, making it six wins on the trot. That's just one win away from setting a club record hey, for a winning streak. As Mr. Drew Moore, come here, Drew. Come What's here. Up? This is a TFC HQ, the goal scorer from Saturday night. Drew, any pressure coming home to win seven games in a row? I was just saying that could be a club record. We just take it one game at a time. I don't know what record you're talking about. That is so cliche. Get out of here, Drew. Nick Haglin, Nico Hassler enjoying that as well. Things are light around here, and rightfully so. Um, before we go any further previewing this weekend's or this week's matchup against the Montreal Impact, let's hear from the head coach, Greg Vanny, on the injury front, including Vasquez, Altador, and Javinko. He came in with uh, feeling a little bit under the weather, uh, very, very slight. Uh, Fever, so we we sent him to the doctor. Uh, he's already called and said he's you know he's feeling better and turning the corner. So we feel good about where he'll be. Um, Seba came out. He did his uh, general protocol. He has a scan this afternoon, so he didn't go through the the session. We'll uh, we'll know more after he goes through the afternoon scan as we look towards tomorrow. Uh, and Josie, we are going to withhold from the match for tomorrow and um, and start looking for the next opportunity. It's a wise approach by Toronto FC with essentially everything to lose and very little to gain. You got to keep players fit and on point at this juncture of the season and keeping them fresh over the long haul makes too much sense for a team within touching distance of the supporters shield. Five points will do it for Toronto FC and it could actually happen this weekend results pending. So we'll see what kind of team Greg Vanny plays, but ex expect plenty of squad rotation this Wednesday night against Montreal and a trip ahead with the turf of Foxborough and the New England Revolution coming up this weekend. The funny thing is with this team, yes, things are loose. Yes, things continue to trend in the right direction. Yes, they're undefeated in their last 11. They haven't lost a match since July 1st against FC Dallas. They actually think there's still room for improvement. Here is Jonathan Azorio. We have a good rhythm, but... Um... You know, we're still working towards the uh, the playoff for them, and uh, we're we're almost there. Um, I wouldn't say we're quite there yet, and um, you know that that's the that's the feeling we have around the team, which is very very positive, obviously. Um, so uh, we're just taking it game by game and, and trying to get better each game. Montreal comes into town absolutely reeling. They've failed to pick up a point since Toronto FC beat them 3-1 at Stade Saputo back on August 27th. On the flip side, Toronto FC hasn't dropped the point, so these are two teams going in very different directions. Montreal is six points out of a playoff spot. Their owner, Joey Saputos, made a public statement about the team's form. There seems to be some dysfunction within. So this is a good time for Toronto FC to take on a reeling impact side. And on top of that, it seems like Toronto FC has finally got the impact's number. They're undefeated in their last four games in all competitions against Montreal. So they look to keep that streak going, which would be the longest undefeated streak against Montreal since the impact joined Major League Soccer. Toronto FC as I mentioned earlier, looking to set a club record with their seventh win in a row. They've won six straight twice this season. No other team has done that in Major League Soccer. And moving that one step closer to the Supporters' Shield is something that is not only attainable, but realistic for this Toronto FC team on an incredible run of form as of late. It's Toronto FC and the Montreal Impact coming your way. BMO Field, the midweek fixture. You don't want to miss it on TSN 1, 4, and 5 Wednesday night at 7.30, and you can listen on TSN 1050.